guys welcome back to my channel today we are talking about the top full style topper I know it's a mouthful in the Malibu Blonde now what I also need to talk to you guys about is how important it is to find one company that you feel comfortable with that's got good pricing um, that knows your problems, um, where your hair loss is, and stick with them. I'll tell you why. You need to, especially in the beginning, you need advice. My hair loss is um, depending on my hormones. So, um, but mostly, I have hair loss here in the center and on my crown. That is, if it's really bad, um, my hair line is actually resending. But at the moment, it's looking good. Don't need to tell you guys about that in this in in this session. But my hair growth is both other than my roots. It's looking really bad. My hair growth is really good. I'm happy with it. Now, when I started shopping, I ended up with uh, Wig Studio One. The girls there, that team, has got so much knowledge, and when they start to get to know you uh, with your ordering, um, with the way that you order, and they ask you what's your problems, um, they really go give good advice. Now it's up to you if you're going to take that advice or not. And I made the mistake once. I think it was Rachel and or Andrea. I don't know which one told me. She said, Marilise, this is a lot of money and this is too much hair for you. And I said, no, really? This was my first topper ever. And this basically made me fall in love with this size topper. Then, my second one, just for fun, was this size. So, that gives you an idea of, and all of these are, I'm, I'm not going to cover other toppers or other names. Um, all of these are John Renault Easy Parts. Then I had to go one step further against their advice and I ordered this baby. Yes, it's a topper, but it is so much hair. If you're not used to so much hair, it's not warm. I will not say that I can't wear it because, um, because of heat in the summer. It's not warm because it's open weft all the long year, as you can see. What's beautiful about it, this is for advanced stage hair loss. The other ones are for beginners. And yeah, at that stage I was not advanced, but I thought instead of a wig, I can, I can pull this off. It's got a double monofilament. If you have no hair growth, you can actually use adhesive here. By the way, I should have said it right in the beginning of the video. This is not sponsored. This is my own opinion. I pay for it with my own money. It does have a clip, luckily. It's got quite a lot of clips. I think it's uh, two, four, five clips. Five clips. Um, it's extremely comfortable. Now let's talk about the color. Again, she advised me to stick with, uh, by the way, this is the, you get it in um, 12, 16 and 18 inch and this is the 16 inch if you're interested in, this, in the length. I like um, short, uh, uh, 12 for me is a little bit on the shorter side so 14, 16, 18 is about what I'm going for. 18 is for my evening looks and that's why I wanted this. this there's nothing, look how beautiful that scalp is. 
you can hardly detect um, and it's also see-through if I can you can see my finger moving through um, <clears throat> see-through like the other ones it's perfect now this is a 12 FS 12 if you don't know how the colors work the F is basically for the shading the highlighting how your color will look like in the long hair and the S is basically how your roots are looking now I think I would have enjoyed this more if it was in the 12 FS 8 but this is the 12 FS 12 so it does still have roots it's i would say the roots are a little bit darker but not as much can i just compare this and then you can see what i mean so so this is 12 f is 12. do you see the difference and this is 12 f is 8. it you just just see the difference but the roots are more darker I got used to it and you need to stick with the colors that you are used to unless you have um, high confidence and mega personalities and you can color like carry off other wigs I'm gonna show you guys I've actually bought red wigs brown wigs uh, all kinds and it just doesn't suit me I'm I'm a blonde girl I will actually show you just for fun in the next video of wigs that doesn't suit me at all that are splashed out and also I think the top is basically go for between a hundred and hundred and ten US dollars I live in Switzerland so um, I always have to convert so outside the US you do pay for postage and they are straight up telling you that it might be expensive. I can never wait for shipping so I always pay for courier um, and that is about $60 extra if you in Europe or I don't know if Switzerland is more expensive than others. Um, but this full uh, size topper actually is I'm sorry I can't remember the exact price I think it's about 350 and I've seen them at other companies big companies going up to 450 so it's more expensive than your small ones obvious you get a lot more hair but do you need it and will it be comfortable so let me pop this baby up and you guys can see how it looks like and um, make your own judgment and this is her on she is absolutely beautiful this is obviously not out of the box i do have to say i've been um, spraying it was a little bit shiny so i've been using uh, dry shampoo dry conditioner she hasn't had a wash yet <clears throat> i haven't worn her that much to actually uh, wash her she's it's a, it's a comfortable, comfortable topper to wear. I will add that. Um, and the length is just perfect for me. Especially if my hair starts growing. You can see my hair underneath this. It's a very similar color, actually. If you take the roots in consideration, it's perfect. And I do love the swagginess of it. It's a little bit hippie in a way um, it moves perfectly natural uh, let me show you the back lovely you can obviously style and play with it the way I've got a little clip here I'll just show you because of the beautiful even though I like the the white piece here in the front so I won't do that but if you go out in the evening and you want a little bit of an updo this is super super easy that I just did in two seconds so if you are thinking of investing and you do want this look 
and you do have you are used to wearing wigs number one um, I always play around with my hair for the first five minutes after I've put it on. <laughs> so if you do have um, a lot of hair already um, and you are only used to small toppers, don't put yourself through what I've just gone through because I just fell in love with the loads of hair, the way it looked on the model, thought it would work for me, didn't think practically. Yeah. I know it looks good on the photos, but if you, it's what you feel comfortable with. And I keep on telling everybody that's new to wearing toppers and wigs, it's what works for you. Don't think this is human hair that you cannot cut, it's precious. You chop it off, you color it, you mix it up, knot it, plait it. Do what you need to do in order to feel like a million dollars. See it as an accessory, not as, um, oh, I'm wearing a wig or a topper because I've lost my hair. No. Loads of people put on extra eyelashes. It's exactly the same thing. I mean, yeah, you have eyelashes. Why don't you just deal with the eyelashes that you have? No. I want to have full hair. I want to have more hair. This is my choice, I feel comfortable in, and just rock it. That's basically what my advice is to anybody that is um, in the beginning stages of wearing toppers. Hopefully my grey will come, I do have a lot of grey now on top of everything else. I would love to have a grey wig and see how it will look like. I think it's so cool, the new greys that's in. Need to look at that. I didn't talk a lot about the inner cap and how beautiful the lace frontage is. Usually I'm just used to normal lace frontage and with obviously with the small hair toppers you bring out your own hair. With this it's not necessary at all. You don't need to place it at the right position. You place it right in front and if some hair falls out, no problem. I hope this video helped you guys to make up your own mind about um, toppers, how much money to spend, what you feel comfortable with. Oh, one thing that I will add. If you like a sturdy clip, like if I say sturdy, I mean if you clip it down, it actually clips. Only people that wears toppers would understand what I'm talking about. A hard clip then John Renault's clips is for you. I find a softer clip, Uniwigs clip, is actually working easier. Yes, it clips still perfectly, it doesn't pull, but it's so much easier to open up and close again. So um, maybe that's my only, just my two cents worth of advice for John Renault, not that they're gonna listen to me. <laughs> Like loosen up your clips a little bit, look at Uniwe. But um, I'm just putting it out there. Okay, guys, rock on your wigs and um, enjoy the day. Ciao!